group used what they are calling the plight of some dogs in the Aiken area to raise money and help other dogs going through the same conditions. News Channel 6's Samantha Williams was there. She joins us live with the details. Renetta, you may remember the founder of Saving the Chain Dogs. She helped pass the anti-tethering ordinance in Aiken earlier this year. Today, some of the dogs who were rescued by that organization came out, and I spoke with one of their owners. Even when his family lived there, he had spent his entire life on a chain, and then they just left him. Bolo was the first dog Saving the Chain Dogs rescued. The dog's family deserted him, and when the organization found Bolo, he was completely hairless, malnourished, and his eyes were infected. To see the kind of dog that he is and how forgiving he is, I don't, you know, it's just amazing. You would think that he would hate every human that he can't, comes in contact with, and he doesn't. He loves. Papa Palooza, Sunday's free event, not only accepted donations to help other dogs like Bolo, but the event raised awareness. I have a deep passion for animals in general, dogs mostly. I feel that when dogs are tethered, it changes their whole life. Um, it can make them aggressive, it can make them feel. Um, isolated. A dog can get wrapped around something and choke to death. If they're lucky enough to have a dog house, a dog can actually get up on a dog house, its chain get caught on something, it goes to jump off, it hangs itself. Robin Mitchell's goal is to help pet owners who are chaining up furry family members. We do not take dogs. My service tries not to ever even have dogs surrendered. We try to help you keep your dog, your family member, and if you have to keep it tethered, we try to help you keep it tethered the legal way. One puppy, Trent, captured attention when he was found in a dumpster a few weeks ago. Mitchell decided to keep him, and this is the miracle puppy now. Having a dog to me is a family member, a dog that is in your home, a dog that protects your home, you know, like a family member. Tethering is not only illegal in Aiken. Chaining or tying dogs to a fixed object is illegal unless the owner is in sight of the dog in Augusta as well. If you come across a tethered dog, don't hesitate to call law enforcement. Renetta, back to you.